Question. Do you tend to get in your own way? What? Let's talk about it. Hi, this is Jan from New York City, and my channel name is Jan from New York City Saves Money. How's everybody doing today? Welcome to the weekend chat. Hope that this past week was very nice for you and you got to do all the things you wanted to do or at least many of the things that you wanted to hit goals with. You know, we're going to talk for a moment today about fearing success, fearing failure, and in general, fearing things, fearing change. That's what we're going to talk about today. You know, they say that the two greatest fears in life are, believe it or not, public speaking, okay, and dying. Well, I think that we ought to add to the third one, fear of failure, and then next to it, maybe side by side, fear of success. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever gotten in your own way? I say, if you get in your own way, not just once in a while, we all tend to flub ourselves and get in our own way for a little bit, but as a chronic, all-the-time thing, do you oftentimes get in your own way? Then you may be suffering with an anxiety about fearing success. But I actually figured out the possible cause of that. I'm no psychologist. I'm just Jan from New York City. But this came to mind, and I really think that this plays into the mix. Thank you so much for sticking around. I really do appreciate your time. Talking about our fears, fear of success, fear of failure. But you want to know what I really think it is? Fear of change. Fear of the unknown. Because when you're familiar with something, you sort of feel comfortable and safe with it, and it's predictable, and it's just as cozy as this little blanket I have on me tonight. But if you venture off into the unknowns of life, for example, suppose you were offered a really cool job that is not within your usual comfort zone, but the truth be told is that you have the makings and the ability to try into that new job, but you're so used to doing things a certain way, you're afraid to go beyond your comfort zone, you're afraid to change. And if you, me, anyone can work on that, I guarantee you, you'll be opening up your world a little bit more. We tend to close our own selves off from other options. It's never a great idea to close off all of your options in life. And it doesn't matter how old you are. It doesn't matter how young you are. Because look at it like this. There was an old expression, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. True. So think about this. Let's suppose you are offered that fantastic job that you're scared to try, but the potential employer thinks you could do it. I say consider trying it. Don't blow it. Consider trying it. What is the worst thing that can happen? A, you learn a lesson from it. Or B, it actually works out for you. So it's a nice thing to do. And you know what? The same thing can apply to things you do at home. Some people feel they can never, ever save up. Okay? Most of the time I talk about small savings. Because truly, my target audience and subscribers, I want it to be the people that may need gentle reminders, the people that might feel they can't do something, the people that maybe just don't know where to start, maybe it wasn't taught at home. I talk the fundamental stuff, not the fancy stuff. And anybody's welcome to view. And by the way, before I forget, I'm just at 500. I don't want to jinx it <laughs> so thank you for that thank you loyal viewers thank you 
loyal subscribers, it means a lot to me. It really, really does. I'm at the halfway mark to hitting that 1,000, and may that go a little bit faster than the first 500. Yikes! Anyway, getting back to it, don't fear change. Embrace change. Tell yourself every night before you go to sleep, I can do this. I can do that. I might make a mistake, but that's okay. Mistakes are okay. Mistakes are learning tools. Never forget that. Yesterday's mistakes are today's lessons. Don't be afraid to make a mistake. And don't beat yourself up for not being perfect. No one's perfect. No one. No human being on this earth is perfect. We all put our clothes on one leg at a time. And, and the last time I, you know... You know, opened up a wound, my blood was red like anyone else's. We're all the same. So, my lesson to convey to my friends out there this week, don't fear change. Change could actually be a good thing. And don't get in your own way. And that's my message for this week. In the meantime, this has been Jan from New York City. Thank you so much for viewing the weekend chat. I really do appreciate your time every single day. Thank you for coming back. Please share this video with someone who may need to hear it, may need a word of encouragement. Every single one of us can use a bit of encouragement from time to time. Am I right or am I right? Have a great weekend. See you again real soon.